Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. I did a top 10 spring Aritzia essentials a couple videos ago and then I decided that I should do an accessories version, a generalized accessories version because just because you have, you know, pieces of your wardrobe picked out, I think to change up the look, especially if you're a person who has a capsule wardrobe, you should definitely accessorize. It really changes the game. It changes the vibe of the whole outfit. You could wear like the same outfit and then add or subtract pieces like accessories and then it will create a whole different look. Of course, the categories we're talking about today is handbags, jewelry, uh, shoes, and like hair accessories. So let's get started. I think the first thing that really adds to an outfit is definitely a handbag. You don't have to do a designer by all means, just a handbag that is really nice and luxurious looking is great. If it's not in your budget to buy a designer handbag, it's totally fine. You just have to find something that's a little bit more high quality looking. And by all means, these are not bags that you have to buy specifically, but if you're in the market to buy a handbag, these are my recommendations. The first one being my first ever luxury bag that I bought. This is the Givenchy Mini Antigona in sugared goat skin in the color Noir. It has silver hardware and it has top handles and a crossbody strap that is actually removable. You can remove it. You just have to take it out of these little grommets. I've had this bag for so many years now, probably over five years, probably six, seven years. It was my first bag I ever bought and it is such a workhorse. When I traveled a lot more, obviously now we haven't been traveling because of the pandemic, but when I traveled a lot more, this was my go-to bag to take with me because although it is smaller in size it actually is quite a medium bag and it holds a lot so I like the bowling bag shape it's very similar to say a speedy probably like the new speedy between size it's like there's like a size between the 25 and the mini or like the nano and this one is probably about that size if you're more um, versed with Louis Vuitton but it holds a lot it even holds a water bottle if you need to and I like the structure of this bag this is what it looks like without the stuffing in it and you can see it's quite structured my only wear and tear is the back here which has like rubbing due to me wearing it always crossbody. I haven't worn this quite as often, but I definitely recommend it. It's just great because you can wear it handheld and then you can wear it crossbody as well. I went with silver hardware. Oh my God, something fell. I went with silver hardware at the time because I just feel like when you're wearing more of a designer bag, the silver hardware is more subtle and less abrupt in your face. When you have gold hardware, I think it's really eye-catching, which is why I went with the silver. It's a little bit more subdued. It's a little bit more edgy as well, and I don't mind mixing my metals because you guys know I wear a lot of gold jewelry, and then I have a lot of silver hardware bags, but I don't mind mixing metals, so that's why I went with the silver hardware. But at the time when I did purchase it, you could get like a smooth lambskin with gold hardware. That was an option. I think they did remake this bag. There's like a soft version now. There's a ton of versions. The design of this bag is over 10 years old, I believe. Not a lot of people go for this bag these days, but it's a personal favorite of mine. It's still a workhorse bag. So if you're looking to build your capsule wardrobe, I think having a bag this size is a great piece to have. If designer is not your cup of tea, I recommend going to look at Coach. Coach actually has a lot of cute bags. I bought this one of holiday season 2021. It was on super discount. I got it for around, I think $200 or so. It is full leather. This is the Coach Turnlock shoulder bag. I love the unique shape of it, this square kind of trapeze look. It has the turn lock on the top and then it just opens up. Once again, it's quite a medium sized bag. I don't think it would fit necessarily a water bottle, but it definitely fits a lot. And I like how this bag, you can turn it from a handheld bag to a shoulder bag, very easily convertible like so. You don't have to get white, of course, but I ha think having a black bag and a white bag also is a good idea to have in your wardrobe just to change up the looks. And I love this bag. I think it's so chic. And once again, it's hard to tell what bag, like what brand this is, unless you look on the side and you see this dangling and it says coach. So I really like how it's just very, I really like how 
different it looks. You can also check out brands like Fossil. I think just picking a style that has like more of a classic look to it would be good. You can see like these bags are like about the same size. Uh, this one just holds a lot more than this one does because of the structure of this bag. So yeah, I love these two. Another suggestion if you're looking for like a luxury piece on a budget is to go vintage. These are my two more vintage pieces. This was actually bought new in store. It was just uh, passed down to me from my sister. She bought this like early 2000s, so it is quite old. I wouldn't suggest this one per se. It is bright orange. It smells so good though, but it's bright orange and like pink and like patent. I definitely would suggest this, but you can definitely get like um, one of those like Louis Vuitton accessoires or something like that. This is the Lexington, just in case you are interested in what that style is called. And then I see a lot of these bags around. This is the Gucci boat. I think this is actually supposed to be a makeup bag, but I use this as a regular like handheld bag and this is actually passed down from my aunt i borrowed it from her and i just never gave it back but the classic gucci pattern is really nice it has like very subtle pewter silver plaque that says gucci on it which looks like it's tarnishing and then very beautiful chocolate brown leather so i've seen these for like 500 to 600 dollars it's definitely pricey for the item like itself but it is a good size it holds quite a bit of things in it the only downfall is like you really can't wear this on your shoulder it would it just it wouldn't look it doesn't look the same so that's the downfall of this but definitely look pre-loved uh, if you're looking for like a designer bag but on a budget moving on to jewelry i think you have to have jewelry when you're trying to accessorize your outfit just to glam it up a little bit. Even if you're wearing a sweatsuit, you throw on some jewelry and it looks like Bobby to stylish. So definitely add some jewelry into the mix. A big favorite of mine is obviously Missouri. As you guys know, this is not sponsored. They don't know I'm making this video. I'm just talking about them. Uh, but I do have an affiliate link that's linked down below. You can get 10% off for new customers if you're interested, but jewelry is just it's like chef's kiss it really really in my opinion elevates an outfit so personally i love rings myself so i have quite a collection of rings and then i also like wearing necklaces all the time as well i personally like going for the solid gold jewelry because i like to take baths and i like to, i wash my hands all the time so i'm not trying to baby any of my jewelry items which is why i always go for solid gold pieces you don't have to go for the majority brand you can go for any brand that has solid gold jewelry but that's the only reason why i always recommend solid gold jewelry i personally just the lifestyle i have i'm always taking baths i'm lazy i don't want to take my like jewelry off so i always go for the solid gold pieces right now i have a pave diamond thin dome ring on my finger and then i have on a cartier love ring this is the wedding band you don't have to go for these brands i'm just giving you guys suggestions on what i personally like the two necklaces that i personally love wearing and you'll see me wearing them all the time ever since i got this one i've been wearing it this is the missouri large diamond necklace it actually is very similar looking to the tiffany to the tiffany's diamonds by the yards uh, necklace and this one has a larger diamond than the Tiffany's one the Tiffany one has a smaller diamond and then that one actually has 18 karat gold and then this is 14 karat gold those are the differences they're the same price point but the diamond is a lot bigger on this one and then this is the boyfriend bold chain and then I have my own little jade stone that I put on there it's just like a teardrop and then I always am decked out in rings as you guys know so some sort of dainty simple you know necklace situation is really nice to emphasize an outfit and then i love to add rings because sometimes my wrists are concealed when i'm wearing sweaters like this and then I, my watch and my wrists are concealed and you can't see anything um so a lot of times i just skip on wearing jewelry on the wrists but my rings i always have rings on sometimes i like to stack them make a big statement and then sometimes i just have two little rings on my hands so definitely you need to add some jewelry and for the category of footwear i always 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 number one pick is to have a good pair of sneakers i personally 
always wear the Nike Air Max 97s. Those are my go-to. I have so many other random white sneakers. I have a pair of Adidas Oswegos. I never wore them. I have them, I just never wore them. To me, this is the perfect chunky sneaker. These are so old, but they still look pretty good I'd say. I love the chunky sole. I just think the whole like chunky shoe, this one is perfect. I love the interesting like um, lining that they have here. I just love the Air Maxes. It gives you a little bit of height if you're really short. I'm 5'4", but I love having a pair of chunky sneakers. And of course, I personally like the white version because I'm always wearing white. I have to say I love a pair of boots. These boots are so cheap. I bought them from Le Chateau for $25, non-stop wearing them. Obviously, they're not the best quality, but I've been wearing them non-stop and they are stark white, which is really nice because when I'm wearing like brown pants, it just gives such an emphasize on the pants and the boots and everything just looks a little bit more I don't know, I think like pulled together. And then of course I can wear this with white, I can wear this with denim. Awesome pair of boots. You can go with a pair of black boots, but I just like having more of a statement on the feet or when I'm wearing my accessories, more of a statement. In terms of hair accessories, I'm always wearing a scrunchie. I always have a scrunchie on me because my hair is long and you can see I really like my scrunchies. So my current favorite right now, this one is from Smoothie Silk. It's actually a local Toronto brand, so I will link her down below. She's not paying me to say anything. She doesn't even know I'm making this video, but yeah, Smoothie Silk. I love her scrunchies. They fit around my hair three times, which is really important because I have real thick hair. And then another favorite of mine, also local Toronto, Annie and Mercy. She makes these really grand scrunchies, and I love having my hair up halfway and then having like one of the scrunchies on top. I think it just makes you look really like, I don't know, girly and it just changes your hair, especially if you have greasy hair. Throw one of these on half up and then it's so cute. Another local Toronto brand, Wildflower Honey. They make really cute hair accessories. I have these clips from them that I often clip to the side when I have super greasy hair once again. So, 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 so cute. They also have scrunchies as well and they have other hair accessories. I don't wear them often, but I do think hats really change up the look and you can definitely style it. It just draws attention. So I have this white felted wool fedora, cowboy hat, I don't know. Love wearing this one. This is a fisherman's hat. I look like a newspaper boy. This is very Joyce. My friend Joyce is always wearing hats and she always, always, always inspires me to wear hats. And my personal favorites are baseball hats because I just like looking a little bit more inconspicuous, casual. This one's from Babaton. And I have another one that is actually from Lululemon. So cute, right? If you add a couple hats, like maybe a baseball hat, maybe one of these wool hats, it will definitely change up your wardrobe. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this inspired you or helped you in some sort of way. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore Hello Harley. Make sure to follow me on TikTok at Hello Harley, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.